Hello lovelies, welcome to Night Food Formula, my name is Freedom, thank you for joining me. Um, today I wanted to talk about a topic, um, I'm not really sure I'm going to title this video just yet, I know that's not very professional of me, but hey, it just kind of came to mind and I thought, yeah, I'm going to speak on this. Um, so, what I want to talk about is the transition period between um, when the narcissist is with their former supply or current supply source, um, the transition between being with them and then transitioning to the new supply. Now there is a term and it's called monkey branching um, and what it means is if you've ever seen how monkeys move through the jungle, right? They hold onto one branch, then they reach out, they grab the second branch, but then they do this thing where they swing backwards and forwards and test to see whether the new branch will hold their weight, whether it's, you know, it's a strong vine that's gonna catch them, right? So they do this swing thing, still hanging on to the old branch, right? backwards and forwards and then they let go of the old branch and move forward and then up again onto another one. Now, that is called monkey branching. That is what narcissists do. So there's this transition stage between you and the new supply where the narcissist is holding onto both of you, right? And he's, he's seeing whether or not the new supply is gonna hold him whether or not it's going to be sufficient whether or not it is going to be what he thought it is because remember you know narcissists like they like to try on people they fantasize about being with this one about being with that one and you know they've, they kind of live in this imaginary you know reality and so when they're actually now getting out of their heads and making a move they, they just want to make sure, you know, that 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 she's actually going to be as good as what he's letting go of. Um, the jokes on them, sorry darlings, I just realised that my screen's a little bit dirty. I mean my, sorry, just one second. It's a little bit clearer. It's just a bit smeary, sorry. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, so with this transition, you know, they want to make sure that she's going to be sufficient. But the joke on them because, is what I was saying, because when they first meet someone, you know, there's that whole idolization thing going on, right? So they've put this person on a pedestal, they've made them um, so much better than they really are. They're imagining this person is so much better than they really are. You know, the, the reality has not kicked in. So they're comparing, you know, their former supply um, with this new person, but it's like comparing, you know, apples to oranges, right? There's no sense, it's not, it's not logical at all, which is why oftentimes narcissists try and do a full 360 and come back, right? Because they transition and go, oh, this grass was not greener, you know, or oh, this is not what I thought it was. But look, if you're in that situation, please take a leaf out of my book, right? Use this time and opportunity to get the hell away from them, right? You've only got this very small window of opportunity. And if you do not get away during that stage, there is that potential for the narcissist to turn back around, do 360, come back and do the whole, you know, oh my God, I made the biggest mistake, build the love of my life, what was I thinking, right? So don't allow that to happen. This is just a transition stage, okay? So what else to think about that? Mm, yeah, so this transition thing, like I said, they kind of hang on to both of you. So they're, you know, they're telling the new spy a whole lot of, you know, bullshit, <laughs> basically trying to get them on the hook, trying to get them ready to replace you. And if, like in my situation, you know, I was leaving, right? So he had to get someone locked down super fast. Right, so he literally kind of took this person who was so not suitable in on any level at all, um, projected a whole lot of my attributes and qualities onto her, um, and then kind of just conned himself, I suppose, a bit um, about you know how suitable she was, um, and then just you know was forced essentially, like his monkey branching was forced. I 
quite literally removed myself from the situation. So he was forced to lock down new supply that wasn't suitable, that won't sustain him, um, and there's a whole lot of other things. But that's not my problem. I don't care. In my mind, you know, the decision has been made and I am never going back. You know, it took me a long time to get out and I will never, ever go back. So just remember, at this transition stage, you know, they're like, hmm, I really want to be with this new one, but, oh, gee, I don't know if it's worth it because I've got all this, you know, all this good stuff going on over here. Maybe I should, maybe I won't, backwards and forwards. Just as soon as that ridiculousness starts, that is your cue to cut them off, to go no contact, you know. And the thing is, right, narcissists, as night follows day, will do the same thing thing right so instead of so in my situation you know when I pulled back now if he'd had half a brain in his head what he would have done was he would have realized he was about to lose a good thing and he would have dropped the new supply and come and fought hard to get it to come back and get you know his get me back essentially but because he's a narcissist he couldn't do that so he had to try and still get me back while keeping her on the hook Right, so he's still driving around with her in the car, um, telling her God knows what, you know, but and then meeting me at court and trying to, you know, talk me out of, you know, getting an AVO and that kind of thing. Um, all of this, you know, he's doing this kind of this juggling, this double life. Um, but, you know, I could see that. I could see really clearly. And I was thinking, on one hand, you're saying, you know, oh, I'd come back to you in a heartbeat. But you've got new supplies sitting in your car, you know? So he played himself, and narcissists will. Soon as you withdraw your energy, they're going to go to wherever they're getting the energy from. So you will witness, right in front of you, the person who said, you know, oh, you're, you're my soulmate, it's you and me forever, you know, you and me against the world, blah, blah, blah. That person will turn and connect, connect with someone like random, some random person, right in front of you it will literally happen in front of you if you withdraw your energy so keep pulling back your energy use this transition time it's now or never right while they've got new supply it's the perfect time to get out and who cares if it falls you know the whole thing falls down comes crumbling down who cares that's their responsibility that's got nothing to do with you you're a free woman now all right lovelies have a listen to some more videos i'm going to link them in here and remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that stuff. All right, darlings, thanks. Bye.